three five minute rounds in the Bantamweight division. Introducing your first warrior, Fanny, out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a perfect professional record of five wins and no losses. He stands 169 centimeters tall and weighs already 59.5 kilograms. Representing Hero Academy and fighting out of Alexandria, Egypt. Put your hands together for my Sara And his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a record of 12 wins and three losses. He stands 178 centimeters tall and weighs a rating 61.7 kilograms. Representing IJJ, Ultimate MMA, and BFC Gym, and fighting out of Bangalore. India! Please welcome Mohammed Shah A. Your referee is the Vanilla Gorilla, Aaron Wallace. Big thanks to our hospitality partner, Wyndham Garden Manama. I consider Bahrain to be my second home, and my home in my second home is Wyndham Garden Manama. The Vanilla Gorilla, once again, your man in the middle, number one bantamweight in India versus the number one flyweight in Egypt. Five and zero oh versus twelve and three. Beautiful little sidekick to the knee on the part of our fighter from Egypt, my Sara Mohammed. Farhad, much more experienced on the international stage. Nice and calm, trying to get off with those leg kicks, showing that Muay Thai background. Changing levels well, kick to the leg, kick to the body. Wasn't quite on court with the hands yet. Little fake of the knee to try and elicit a reaction from my Sara. That lead side kick to the knee you can find in self-defense manuals from the 1910, 1920s, only recently has been widely adopted in mixed martial arts. It can be not just effective, but vicious. Solid leg kick from Masara Mohammed. Push kick to the knee. That side kick was just a little bit too low. If you hit on the kneecap itself, it can actually hurt your foot. You want to hit just above it, half an inch or so above that kneecap. Fakes with the hands coming up top. Masara leading the dance a little bit here, but it's almost as if Farhad is just waiting to uncork a big right hand here. <laughs> Farhad clearly getting some tells, getting some reads, trying to download knowledge about his opponent, but he's got to start using him because he is falling behind slightly on the judges' scorecards. Farley is a kick into a spinning back kick. Both men keeping a low stance. Neither one seems interested in clinching with a takedown right now. Interestingly, neither man has a win on their ledger by submission. They like to get it done on the feet. And if you have knockout power. Beautiful straight right hand. If you have knockout power with these tiny four inch gloves. So what I was alluding to earlier, Phil, when I said he's getting a lot of reads here. He's getting tells. He's learning what his opponent does at certain points. And then he's trying to take advantage of him with that big right hand. Masara Muhammad, he's got a big straight of his own. He's got a cock by his jaw. The implant of Masara Muhammad seems to be to attack that lead leg, particularly the knee of Farhad. Attacking that knee joint, if it injures the joint, great, that's a win. It also allows you to maintain distance, keep your opponent where you can set up that high uh, round kick off your back leg. It also takes the pop out of the step. As we know, Farhad so good at changing and covering distance quickly. If you take the knee out, you won't be able to be as quick to the punch, as sharp. My Sara showing, as you referred to earlier, a little bit of a, a karate stance, a little bit of a taekwondo stance, not setting down fully on his shots. It means they don't hit quite as hard, but it definitely increases the likelihood of them landing. No rush or 
impetuousness on the point or on the part of Farhad at the moment. Both these fighters can knock the other one out in a split second. If either of them shows any impetuosity, it could end in a split second. That's great. Oh, nice shot got through there from Mysara. A little nod of acknowledgement from Farhad. Always has that big right hand. Then the locker lands it beautifully. Very impressive. Suffered a three punch combination, one of which hit. Delivered a three punch combination, one of which hit. Mysara's sidekicks that lead leg start to bother Muhammad Farhad, he simply needs to circle a little bit. Nice that kick is no longer there when you circle around. Nice little check kick from Mysara, caught Farhad coming in. A minute to go in the opening round of what's been a, a tentative affair for the most part, but both men have landed big shots. Little interesting psychological wrinkle. They're actually staring at each other's eyes. Ordinarily, in a fight, you stare at what's called the, the T. There's a line, the chest, yeah, there's yeah. a line between the point of the shoulders right down the middle of the body. There's a letter T right there. I don't want to say you stare at it, but you're aware it's there. These two are looking at each other straight in the eye, silently daring each one to attack. Masai doing the right thing by not standing in the pocket and getting into a fire fight with Masai. He's feeling himself a little bit now. Keeping everything in kicking range is Masara Muhammad. Very exciting mix. Very, very unusual, but nevertheless intelligent strategy here. Distance managed by a brutal side kick to the knee. Set up exciting head kicks. A little acknowledgement on the part of Muhammad Farhad of his opponent. Is a respectful acknowledgement, just a nod, little tap of the hand. I'm liking what I'm seeing as far as game planning and distance management from Masara Muhammad, as I said. The last thing he wants to do is stand in the pocket, stand within punching distance of Muhammad Farhad, who, as we say, does have so many knockout TKO victories on his legend. If you were to play Judge Phil, which, of course, neither of us aren't, who would you give 10, who would you give 9? Again, a very close round, but for the, the frequency of attacks and the accumulative damage, the, the, the push kicks to the knees, the, the spinning attempts, the, the counter shots landed. I would say for me, and again, I am not a judge by any stretch of imagination, my Sara Mohammed just edged it for me ever so slightly. I agree completely, and we're getting a little treat of that on our Green Hill replay. Replay over. Round two is on in moments. Gates closed, fighters ready. Expect to see a little bit more urgency from Mohamed Farhad trying to get in those low kicks. Just as I say that, throws a leg kick. Chance of let's go Egypt. Starting to rattle through the crowd a little bit. Mysara may be letting his opponent get just a little close. There it was. Nice, just clipped the chin. Mysara just an inch too close, allowing his opponent just an inch too close, just a little too confident. Perhaps got a little bit too comfortable there. Farhad, as yet, hasn't chosen to close the distance and get in to that danger zone. Both say. fighters, of yeah. course, capable of intricate wrestling games, intricate submission games. But right now, they are intent man to man on seeing who's the better striker. Masar Muhammad has held multiple regional titles in his native Egypt. Trying to put it all together now. You can see that he has that professional K1 boxing experience. Mysara's back's a little too close to that fence. Yeah, you like to see him implement some lateral movement, kind of skirt on the outside, along the outside, as opposed to backtracking up to it. Putting together strikes well. It's just it's come so quickly. And I think bantamweight seems to be a much better fit here for Mysara Mohammed. 
Interestingly though, it's Farhad in on the takedown. Little change of pace here with big, big results. We did not see this coming. Big takedown, huge fence grab. Oh, we're gonna get a stern, stern, stern warning for the fingers inside the fence. The referee Arn Wallace was not happy about that. Yes, the takedown was completed, but it stalled the momentum of the takedown a little bit. What we were gonna see was a big dump takedown, but what we saw was the impact being lessened from the fence grab, which allowed Masara Muhammad to get back up a little easier. Be very interesting to see where this fight has started from. See Restarted from standing. There you see, and it just takes a little impact out of it. Right back into the action. Masara going back to the well with that low kick. And what that little push kick to the knee does, it kind of puts a little tick in the mind of Mohamed Farhad, thinking that that's coming, which then gives credence to the level changing, going up with the strikes. Same thing with that little feint of an outside single. Showing the uppercut to try and elicit a reaction. Turns it into the straight. Isn't far away when he's going to the head with that kick. I think Mohamed Farhad should have pulled the trigger when he saw that back exposure. Falling with the jab. And Right now, Farhad still trying to figure out the, the puzzle that is my Sara Muhammad. His karate based style is, is very unusual for mixed martial arts. It does take a while to get the hang of. Oh, beautiful counter shot there again. So that's what happens when Farhad tries to get in and close that distance. He gets clipped with that lead counter hook. I would like to see my Sara follow that up with a straight. Again, just pings him with that counter hook. That lead hook is absolute money for Masara Muhammad. But again, if he were to follow that up with a cheeky little straight right down the pipe, who knows what kind of a, a result that could have. If anything, it's Masara Muhammad who's been turning up the, the work rate a little bit in the second round. I think he edged it out in the first round. That may have given him a degree of confidence. Lent him a little more fire for round two. Yeah, giving him that little bit of a bump to think, yeah, I deserve to be in here with somebody like Muhammad Farhad. Just to pick those hands up a little bit. It's great to be confident. It's not great to be arrogant. Rolling feints again, just trying to keep Muhammad Farhad where he wants him to let him know that should he charge in, Shot waiting in the chamber. A couple of times in this bout. Oh, there's a big straight, straight left hand. Oh, he's it's over. That's it. It's over. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Masara Mohammed with the biggest win of his mixed martial arts career knocks out the knockout artist we were calling for in commentary. The hook followed up by the straight. When he does it with fight ending precision, big win. Let's look at this one a second time. Boom, there it is. Straight left hand. Reminds me just a little bit of who, Phil? Friend of Brave Combat Federation, Conor McGregor. Beautiful, straight left out of that southpaw stands. Absolutely Concussive gorgeous. force landing on the cheek. I just, Far, Farhad was out, out right there. Well, not out, but he was completely dazed. Referee Aaron Wallace giving Muhammad Farhad every opportunity to continue in the fight. Forced to stop the action by Sarah Muhammad. Moves to 6 and 0 oh with his fourth win by a KO or TKO. And obviously, the move up to Bantamweight has paid dividends for my Sarah Muhammad. I think he may have found a new home here. Phil, it's one of the things I love to see. The scourge of mixed martial arts is the culture of extreme weight cutting. It's the fight before the fight. It, it, it's a fight that leaves athletes so they often can barely walk just over 24 hours before the actual fight. I'd like to see the end of extreme weight cutting in mixed martial arts, seeing fighters move up and do even better. It just warms my heart. We're getting a call for a title shot here. 
Now he's going to be a very interested spectator during the, the Hamza Koeji Brad Katona fight. Quite possibly the very best version of Mysara Mohammed we have seen. And at only 23 years of age, the sky is the limit for this young man. There used to be a misconception, Phil, that those karate style punches didn't have enough pop on them to work in the mixed martial arts cage. Like all martial arts, they have to be tweaked, they have to be modified to work under mixed rules, but that punch works. Masar Muhammad just taking in the adulation of the crowd. And as I say, who knows what's next with this young man. Referee Arm Wallace calling him into the center. Carlos Kramer is ready to give the official decision. Trying to get the fighters to center stage. So the big man, Carlos Kramer, the Los, the Roaring Lion of Brave, can make it official for all of us. All right, Brave Nation, another incredible battle inside the Brave CF 57 cage. This comes to an end at 4 minutes and 31 seconds of the very second round. Your winner, Mike TKO! Mike